All right, guys, we are now in the semifinals where we have Patrick Smith, a guy that's lasted 58 seconds and 30 seconds, a full of 1 minute, 28 seconds and two fights, taking on a guy that's lasted 15 minutes and 20 seconds and two fights. Or, as Brian Kilmore would say, <laughs> this part pisses me off. By the way, guys, before we get to that moment of Johnny Rhodes entering the ring, while Patrick Smith is entering the ring, they show us a, a profile package of Patrick Smith being the uncrowned king of kickboxing with over 200, 200 victories. His title is well deserved. He's a 1993 Savak heavyweight champion. But then they talk about the fight, how he lost against Ken Shamrock that night. And now they, he talks about how he's try, he, that he's learning how to get out of those those submission holds that Shamrock did to him. And I will say, though, this is actually a great moment. I actually love the package and them talking about Patrick Smith. So it was a pretty good package. And then we cut to Johnny Rhodes. Brian Kilmore says, and I quote, he comes into the ring for the third time within 45 minutes. Like, And, and then he tells the commentators, how long has it, was that first match? Was that 15 minutes? Which is weird. And then Ben says, I think it's very impressive that he got that second win that surprises him in the second fight. Which is interesting. Yeah. They, they even talk about how he came back very impressive in the second fight. Most of you guys, the entire of his fight has been lasting 15 minutes. So, guys, we get to the semifinals and the fight. Guys, this fight ended. I will say, though, I will give credit for Johnny Rhodes. He lasted longer than the other two fights, Patrick Smith. Like, at, at, at least Johnny Rhodes lasted longer in this fight than the other two fighters. At least he went, went a minute into this fight with Patrick Smith. No, I'm kidding. He really did. One minute and seven seconds. That's how long the fight ended. It ended by guillotine choke. <laughs> that, that's about it. That's all I can tell you. The fight started out. They're both dancing each other. We see that amazing um, spin kick because we see Patrick Smith doing a crazy spinning kick, which was pretty awesome. That Was that the first? That's the first time in USC history? Dang. And then he goes for a left kick. And then... And then suddenly, Johnny Rhodes goes for his own kick, which was a spinning kick, which was hilarious. Which is hilarious because Brian Kilmore said that might be the first kick we've ever seen, which is hilarious. <laughs> and then we get some kicks, some amazing punches from both of the guys. And then suddenly we get a great counter right hand from, um, from Johnny Rhodes. He gets a good right punch on Patrick. And then around the seconds of the fight and then suddenly Patrick corners him near the near the ropes of the cage goes to a kick he nails his body to the ground and then out of nowhere I think Patrick Smith headbutted his opponent then he goes for a knee and then and then he goes for a guillotine choke it, like and 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 this wasn't on the ground guys this might be the first time in UFC history that a fight has ever ended in a submission where the fight, where both fighters did not fell on the ground. Sorry, guys. Uh, my dad was calling me for help there. So, uh, sorry. I'm back. Anyway, um, okay. So, as I was about to say, like, for some crazy reason, he, like, Patrick Smith managed to lift him up, putting on his headlock, and lifts him up so much. It was it was crazy how he did that. Like I said before, guys, when Amanda Nunes defeating Ronda Rousey by punching her multiple times to end in a fight, like it was a boxing fight, even though she was never knocked down or no one was on the ground, this is the first time in the history of a UFC fight that no one has ever fell to the ground or ended by submission. This fight ended by submission with both of the guys standing up when the fight was over. He, he locks him up to choke him out by lifting him up. Like, it was crazy. They throw in the towel, the fight's over, and referee calls it. And, like, dude, Patrick Smith is on fire today. 
with with Johnny Rhodes lasting a, a minimal of 16 minutes and 27 seconds in three fights, and Patrick Smith, <laughs> dude, this is crazy. Two minutes and 35 seconds. That's how that's how long Patrick Smith took to win three fights. That's pretty good. Of course, everything won't go that so easy because you think to yourself, Patrick Smith has an easy win. And, and, and it's even crazy because like Brian Gilmore, like as John McCarthy's grabbing both of their arms, he signals the winner is Patrick Smith. You hear Brian Gilmore saying, like, like Brian Gilmore, like what the hell, man? Smith wins in 45 seconds, which he said, but in Wikipedia it says one man seven seconds, and I kind of agree with that. Smith wins in 45 seconds. He he wins in 45 seconds against a man that fought over 25 minutes tonight. He was over nine minutes off. Johnny Rhodes lasted 16 minutes and 27 seconds, not 25 minutes. Dude, it goes to show you, you viewers, how confusing it is to watch a show without not knowing what the timer is of each fight. Uh, it's bad.